Hello, in this uh, tutorial, we will discuss how to create a basic game concept. Uh, the purpose of the basic game concept is to create a design for the game. At the same time, we're discussing the platform, discussing the design, the, the, the operating system for the program. But again, this is not a quick um, lesson for game uh, development. This is just a basic uh, is, uh, explainer where you can start your game. And we have different types of game. We have, of course, the platformer. We have the first person second person shooter, shooter game and at the same time if you want to start with your game we have to check first the two group for uh, game creation we have the designer and we have the programmer so for the animator this part of the designer we're in we need the assets creator we need the in-betweener and uh, for the programmer uh, for the programming what is the programming tool uh, that is needed for this uh, program so you can use the C sharp the C++ you can use also the air of your Adobe Flash, but of course, because Adobe Flash is out in the game, you can use the Adobe CC Animate. But I'm using my old version of Adobe CS Flash. Ah, see, uh, Adobe Flash. This is Adobe CS6. Uh, you can still port this uh, um, program to your Adobe CC Animate. Now, um, what is the platform for your uh, game development? Okay. So speaking of platform, where are you going to put it? it, it uh, can you do? Or can you put that in the web? in mobile can you put that in uh, uh, the desktop or you can use the cloud base so that is these are the questions that we need to um unravel um expect that um in the next tutorial um we will discuss how to create a basic concept design for this game okay we have here the platform platforms for game development we can even use the 2d or the 3d styles to create our games but this is a quick um, style of discussion wherein we just um, use the time-based uh, explanation explainer so that you can understand how to write your games so again we need to understand what is the platform we have the web the mobile and of course we have there the cloud to write the game program so what is next that's the question okay Again, I'm using the program here. My program is my software is the Adobe Flash CS6, but you you can port this uh, output using your Adobe CC Animate. Okay, what game are you going to create? Number one, the first thing that you need to do is think of a game. Okay, walk for a while and relax, and uh, think of a kind of game that you want to write or you want to create. And of course, we need to write the abstract. The abstract is, of course, the a short description for our game. That's very important so that we can have the roadmap and the detail for our game um, creation. Number three, well, we have the character design. This is very important. Our target is to create the character, this part of our uh, game concept uh, design. So we need to draw the character. And uh, later on, in the next bits, we write the codes for the game. So character design is very important. In our case, in this uh, lesson, we will be using the two-dimensional style of designing our character. Okay, so that's how we uh, uh, extrude this topic uh, for to those uh, students who are uh, and to those um, people who are inclined and passionate in writing their own games. So we are using this to write games from the scratch so that you can understand how to design and how to start your game uh, program. Okay, so we will start with our design. Okay, so this is uh, the basic concept design for uh, game development. As a designer, you you should know how to draw. Okay. This is the task of the designer. The, the task of the programmer is, of course, to write the programs to control the objects, to control the character. Okay. So uh, I'm using here a very simple um, uh, 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 paintbrush tool, a light paintbrush tool to draw my character. All right. So we will clean up this character in the next uh, steps of our tutorial. And uh, if you want to learn, please uh, stay with this tutorial, okay?
the principles of creating the design is just like you're drawing the circle. If you watch my previous videos, then you can use the circle to create your design. So um, the tools is very uh, familiar to you. You can use the Photoshop, you can use the Adobe um, Illustrator to create your own or any um, graphics editor for that. Now, um, circle is very important to proportion the eyes, the nose, and the ears at the same time to create the body. Now, I will use here the pen tool to, uh, you know, to uh, use to outline my, uh, no, my, my, my character design. Okay, now uh, the, the uh, pen tool is 1.80. That's my, um, but that, that's the size, no? So I'm using the freehand draw right here, okay? Okay, so I will now uh, clean up my design, okay? So be sure that uh, you have already planned it out, what design, okay? I'm using a um, caricature type or a cartoon style of drawing here. I need to um, minimize the size of my designs um, to uh, proportion also to the game um, uh, styles that I'm creating. Okay, so you can use the lines to draw your design here, and uh, you need to put your uh, drawing in the layer. Okay, the purpose of the layer is um, to uh, draw your first object, second object, and third object. So I will lock first this layer and copy it to the other layer. The purpose of that is, of course, no, uh, I have an error here. I was not able to anticipate that, so I need to put it in another layer to um, erase the, the 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 sketch that I have done in the previous layer. Um, in order for me to uh, uh, to fast track my drawing um, in the next uh, session. Okay, now for now, uh, this is now the the part of my clean up drawing. So I need now to choose the color. Okay, um, again I will reiterate this. You can use the Photoshop. You can use the Adobe Illustrator to create your drawing and mine I'm using the Adobe uh, Plus but you, you see you can use also the Adobe CC Animate but I love to use the Adobe uh, Plus CS6 uh, because it is very convenient okay the output uh, you can port the output later on to the Adobe CC Animate okay now what's next so I will now what you call this enhance my drawing I will put some shadow okay using the line drawing okay so I will copy the color um so you see when you are creating the design I, it's very important that you follow the exaggeration you follow the solidity of the drawing and of course you follow the direction of the light so mine here is um uh facing to the uh, right side no uh, in a semi quarter view okay so please stay tuned and we will finish this uh, drawing okay Now we have here the character, and I'm starting not to color it. So we need to use the following tools here. I'm using the pen, uh, the uh, freehand drawing, and same time uh, combining the line tool uh, for for me to uh, uh, anticipate these lines. So the strokes is very simple. All you have to do is to follow um, your uh, uh, character design, and then you need to clean it up. So to to clean it up, you need to delete to evade those points, and then erase the, uh, those points to make it more um, beautiful. And as you can see, I am using the two layers right here. The first layer is for the final drawing, and the RD layer is used to um, sketch, okay? Sketch the, the, what you call this, the rough design for this character. Okay, as you can see, my character is, is so, so, so short, I'm sorry. And uh, at the same time, no, um, I want this character to be unique, no? Um, what I mean is... It is unique because I want really to evade the plagiarism. Okay, so um, always remember to follow the principles of drawing. We need to follow the exaggerations and of course the solidity. Now, the color of my drawing is blue right here and uh, uh, we need to enhance this drawing. So how to enhance your drawing? You follow the balance and proportion. At the same time, we are still using the contour for thick intent drawing. Mine is just a simple contour no? um, using the uh, same size of uh, the pen uh, tool drawing here. So um, I am now uh, coloring the parts of my drawing, the shoes, the pants, and as you can see, um, I'm evading those lines, those extra lines to make it more cooler, and I'm putting the extra weight for my drawing what is the extra weight or the depth so like for example this one i'm using the line here and the purpose of that is to create another color for that the dark color because uh i am 
uh, assuming that the light is in the right side and of course the dark side is at the left side all right so the same thing no um to make your drawing more beautiful you need really to uh, enhance it by putting some blocks or shadows so i'm starting to put it here using the paint tool you can use the paint tool to combine and of course you can use the technical drawing by using the lines and of course the freehand drawing using the pen tool or the pencil in your um tools no in your dashboard so please check this uh uh, drawing techniques so that you can also make your own character design all right it's more on experimentation don't be afraid to commit to any mistakes okay uh, just have some fun we are done with our character design and we need to focus more on how to um again um put some weights to this uh drawing so we need to create another layer here so the first layer is this is the clean up process I need to lock it and, and I need to add another um, layer for another drawing. So what is that drawing? I need to create a circle, but just like a, a, a typical um, important uh, character in a game. No? Uh, we need to emphasize the where it stands and uh, so that our character will stand out of whatever uh, backgrounds we gonna put in this uh, canvas. Okay, so uh, I will want to call this, um, convert this uh, object into a graphic object for programming. As you can see, I'm adding um, different, uh, I'm adding now uh, the frames here. And as a matter of fact, this is the, the previous window that you saw. That is where we're going to create the um, game controller in the next video, okay? In the part two of this uh, lesson. Uh, and uh, now, uh, I have two layers here, the layer two, that is where our character resides and of course the layer 4 that is where the circles uh, establish its uh, uh, point. No? Now I need to put a background. Okay, I have already downloaded this background. This is part of the free background in the internet. We can create a background in the third part of our um, video tutorial but for now we'll, we'll just focus first in creating our own character. So as you can see, the character blends with our uh, background, okay? Now, um, to proportion and, of course, to check if your drawing is in the right place, we can use the wireframe. Just click that box there for the wireframe so that you can check the overall, uh, uh, what you call this, um, picture of your uh, uh, character drawing. Now, we will run this program, okay? So, we'll press Control enter to run this program, and then let us check. What happened okay now this is the program so if you run that program all right um as, as a matter of fact you can port this uh, output um in your web in your desktop now that is part of the animation process where we created i think that was six frames no that circle at the bottom of our character okay so in our last part we will compile it We can compile this game to uh, a different platform. You can save this as part of the web technology. We can use the HTML5 or HTML, or we can use the desktop and uh, we create an executable file. Or maybe we can use uh, the Air for Adobe Intel Runtime and convert this to another program so that we can use the Android uh, uh, mob mobile phone to port our game. Now, in this process, I'm creating a frame for my uh, design. This is to give life also to my design. Uh, while it is standing, it has life. There's something that it is a, uh, it will create a dynamism of movement. So I'm uh, creating uh, five or uh, four frames here to uh, move the different uh, um, lines of my drawing so that it will make it uh, more dynamic. Okay. So please check. No, uh, I'm inserting the frames for every uh, um, drawing here. So that you will create an, uh, a, a, a dynamic, uh, what you call this, uh, <coughs> picture of my drawing. Okay, now, I just want to reiterate this, no? If you want to create your game, all right, be sure that you have planned the game that you want to create. Here, we are discussing about the very basic game of using the 2D style of game uh, design concept. At the same time, in the next, next, uh, uh, of our video tutorial, we will write a program for this game. All right. So the concept of this game is very simple. All right. 
this uh, character here will just dodge all the fireball that coming from that area okay from the tree and at the same time we'll be using this circle as a backdrop okay so that it will be more um dynamic no to the eyes of the viewers so we are um copying this uh, spear to the different uh, grounds of the background and as you can see that the circle was already designed to be uh, become a transparent type of object so um, in this uh, tutorial please don't uh, forget to share like and uh, click the subscribe button and uh, please don't forget also to hit the notification bell uh, button okay and of course this is now the output i hope that you enjoy in this short tutorial and uh, in our next part two okay we will add more okay to this lesson thank you